Corn toppings, dill, cumin, spicy green salsa. Now that's intriguing. Is that a man or a woman? I don't know. <laughs> what is this? I thought this was supposed to be a socio-realist folk tale. I don't know what's going on. I've seen this movie three times and I'm still awed by its brilliance. Ending with a ten-minute anti-capitalist ballet? The montage really evokes Eisenstein. Okay, I'm done being assistant manager. What, are you quitting? I want to go back to concessions. Look, there just aren't enough perks in the position for me, okay? So you can't handle it, Bobsy. You're a corpse. <gasps> Is that a weird, veiled threat, Layla? Are you threatening my life? I'm not threatening to kill you, Bobsy. I just wish you were dead. I love him! <gasps> oh, you are too much! Girls, please don't fight. Benjamin, please don't get involved in this. You know what, Bobsy and Layla? You two are a lot alike. What are you talking about? I mean, you look a lot alike. Yeah, yeah, you do. You both have all these little pimples on your faces. Shut up, Benjamin! Popcorn. I, every nighty night, on Purim night, I said to Ahasuerus is an Esther, I hope my home and fashion on my sound sweet and hard now. I, The school on top of the hill. Mulberry Commons. Dirty Paisley, I'm so excited that school's gonna be over in just a few days. Before you know it, it's gonna be beaches, parties, and boys for us. Yeah, Marky, I am looking forward to summer, but I'm kinda gonna miss the guys from school. I'm gonna miss the professors, too. Why doesn't that surprise me, Dirty Paisley? If you're not getting busy with the students, you're getting busy with the professors. But only on the weekends, always. You are a studious gal. Spend the weeknights studying, the weekdays getting your groove on. I guess I respect that. But I can't wait to see your yearbook signatures. I bet the students, probably the professors too, really went wild. Yeah, there's some pretty crazy ones in there. Also, you totally have to sign it for me. Will you, Marky? Of course, hon. No, I cannot wait to see what people wrote. Okay. Thanks for all the hot nights in the locker room. Love, Ronald. Quarterback. Good job, Paisley. Ooh. You have a mean mouth and a meaner tongue. Regards, Steve. Wow, he is a nice guy. Oh, wow. <laughs> you go to the A 
list on, on my book, honey. <laughs> Love, Professor Stimson. I knew it. I knew you'd ace poetry class in more way than one. <sighs> oh my goodness, Dirty Paisley. This one is totally over the line. Who wrote this? What? Let me see. Oh, I've never seen this before. How could somebody be so cruel? Wait a minute, Paisley. It's in my yearbook too. This is really bizarre. It's filthy, disgusting, rude. You know what? I'd even say evil. But you know something, Paisley? We are gonna get to the bottom of this. Mark my words. Mulberry Commons. What if? What if? Okay, Freda. What if you order a turkey sandwich and you say no mayonnaise? Ew, Kimra, I hate mayonnaise. Blah. And then the sandwich arrives and you take a bite into a big gooey pocket of mayo. I'd complain to the manager. But then the manager says, I sincerely apologize, but that wasn't mayo. That sandwich had a turkey tumor, and it fucked. What if? Chance meetings. Chance meetings. Chance meetings. Chance meetings. Gay day, Cal Adventure, October 7th, millionaire game. You? Dark hair, seat 10, green shirt. Me, blonde hair, seat 3, red shirt. Our eyes locked. We parted but saw each other later and still didn't speak. Serendipity? Elsewhere at Mulberry Cummins. Montclair, I am so excited. I just got my acceptance letter to the Midwestern Dulcimer Summer Program. Brava, brava, Cassidy. I'm really proud of you. I'll definitely think of you this summer when I'm over at my uncle's villa in Rome. I'll, when I'm sipping a glass of red wine and reading Proust, I'll take a moment to toast to you. <laughs> it is just such a prestigious program. I'm so honored. Oh, prestigious? I still can't believe it. Dear Cassidy, we are pleased to inform you that you've been accepted into our program. Out of 200,000 applicants, only five were accepted. <laughs> yeah, but actually, I think the more correct way to have read that would have been, Dear Cassidy, we are pleased to inform you that you have been accepted into our program. Out of 200,000 applicants, we only accepted five. Thanks for correcting me, Montclair. <laughs> Gosh, I really am going to miss you this summer when I'm away. Would you write something in my yearbook? A little forget-me-not? I don't have that many signatures so far. I guess it's because I'm a freshman. Oh my gosh. That's disgusting. Who would write something like this? Oh, but I think you should have said that more in the British sense. Who would write something like this? Hear that, Paisley? Loud and clear. Mulberry Commons. Street poem. Shoe repair man, make me something cool. Then buy me some sponges so I can clean up all the gruel. Look, it's Brendan Fraser. And look, there's me. Look, there's a flower. Have you done the deed? Taxi, taxi. Ain't this an NYC? Yeah, it is, buddy. So just, just be happy. But give me an old sausage any time and I'll chomp on it. Oh, <laughs> happy as can be. Get your newspaper. Poor Nicole Kidman can't believe Tom Cruise left her. Shall I ever find the way? All the directions all over the town. Leading this way, that way, everywhere, but which way? He's fixing it, he's fixing it. Maybe it'll work these days. A friendly reunion <laughs> makes me feel crazy with glee. 
a big colorful mural. Makes me feel like I'm really a part of this big town. Brad's on the phone. Wow, that's, I'm really down with that. Pretty pink shape nurtures me when I'm blue. Old Father Winter blowing away the truck. <laughs> Whoa. Coors. Crisscross. <laughs> Bye, guys. Gonna go get a pierogi at my favorite Ukrainian place, Veselka. <laughs> That's boss. Pray call, pray call, pray that they won't call. Bring, bring. Hello? 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 Stop calling me! La 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 la, la 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 la. Meanwhile at Mulberry Commons. <laughs> Hey, Mindy, what's up? Well, I wanted to see how my little sister of Osiris was doing. I wonder why you missed the ritual last night. Yeah, sorry for being missing in action, Mindy. Just, I've been so depressed lately. Now that summer's here, I'm afraid of spending the whole summer without the support and presence of our group. I think it might throw me into a crisis of faith. And, you know, I don't want to start doubting mighty Osiris and mighty Mothra. If you want, Vanessa, I can write you a little mantra in your yearbook so that you won't lose faith in Osiris, Mashakra, and Mathukithra. You know something, Mindy? I really would appreciate that. You're the best family, friend, and religious role model a girl could have. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my holy Osiris. Who could have written something like this? Okay, guys, we heard everything. Uh, this has been happening to people's yearbooks all over campus. Yeah, and we're on the case. Nice of you to care, Marky. Especially after you wrote that vicious editorial in the Daily Mulberry Patch about our religious group. Look, Mindy, I only do news that's fit to print, and in this case, I was doing a major expose on a r religious cult on campus. But we don't have time to discuss that right now. We have to work on this mystery. Look, why don't we just call a temporary truce? Okay, so we'll keep you guys posted on what we find. But just don't you worry, because me and Paisley are on the case. Come on, Pais, we got to look for clues and we got a few more interviews to do. Got it, Gumshoe. We're on it. Mulberry Commons. Opal, 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 Opal. Opal, your friend Alexis has had a terrible injury to her spine. She's in a deep coma and she's near death. Yes, nurse. Did she ever discuss with you what she'd like in terms of funeral preparations? She really wanted to have a sex change. I mean, Opal, I know for a fact that Bob Hendricks did not hire me for that job because I'm a woman. I mean, sometimes I just want to be a guy, you know? Want to be a guy? Huh. Yeah, I guess that would be her dying wish. Well, that's not really hospital policy. Nurse, she's on the deathbed. A sex change would completely wipe out her account, but the operation would be covered. Then that's what we've got to do, nurse. More thread, please. Scalpel. Scissors. Opal? hormone injections, the removal of both breasts, and the reconstruction of the labia into a phallus. Alexis is a man now. That's great. And it gets better. Alexis has miraculously come out of his coma. Alright. 
He can think perfectly well. He can see you and he can hear you, but he cannot speak or move. He's fully paralyzed. Huh. But he will live a very long life. Congratulations, Alexis. You're a real miracle, man. I hope my home and Tasha are filled with poppy seeds. Now I hope my home and Tasha are all nice and sweet and hot. Now, hey, 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 hey. Also at Mulberry Commons. Now, Trina, are you aware that you're emotionally disrupting the classroom, the teacher, and the other students? Yes. Trina, I'm gonna do a few tests. Um, why don't you tell me what you think of this? I hate it. It's trash. Okay. Interesting. Now, what do you think this is, Trina? Trash? Now, come on now, Trina. Try to elaborate on that. A shambala. A shambala? What's that, Trina? It's a whale. A stinky whale. Sorry to interrupt, Dr. Peterson, but something really crazy is happening all over campus. Someone's writing disgusting things in everybody's yearbooks. What should we do? Hi, Sylvia. Oh, hi, Paisley. Hello, Marky. Um, Paisley, I've been meaning to ask you, which one of these do you like better? This one? Or this one? Well, I think they're both kind of nice. Uh, so anyway, Dr. Peterson, Peterson we, we have to get to the bottom of this. What should we do? Well, girls, regretfully, this is out of my jurisdiction. But I'll be sure to let Lady Headmaster Skabira know. Thanks, Dr. Bo Peterson. You're the best. See you later, Sylvia. Bye, girls. Now, Trina, what was that word you were saying? I'll never tell you. Never! Was it... Shumba? No! You called the whale Shumbala, didn't you, Trina? Well, I, I did, but I changed it. Mulberry Commons. on the couch, I baked this cake. Oh, it's a lovely cake, Tamara. Actually, while you were baking, I was meditating, and I reached a state of nirvana. Well, that's cool. The next day at Mulberry Commons. Okay, students. An emergency all-school meeting has been called by your fellow pupils, Marky and Paisley. There's a caper on campus, and no one leaves this room till we know who's done it. And when we do know, they shall pay. Yeah, you guys, I think everybody knows what's been going on. Somebody's been writing some pretty gross stuff in everybody's yearbook. And you all know how horny I am, but even I was disgusted. Yeah, it was really, it was just awful. And I know that someone in this room did it. Was it you, Montclair? I noticed that even though you're so erudite, you might not be above a little obscene turn of phrase. I think the word is obscene. <laughs> Look, Marky, irregardless of what you think, I'm innocent. Uh, yeah, and I don't think irregardless is a word. Look, Marky, can we please just expedite this process? I mean, it wasn't us. Oh, Cassidy, I think the word is expedite. Oh. Well, was it you, Mindy and Vanessa? You'd certainly have a motive. Put to shame the school that gave your religious cult a bad name. Oh, be quiet, Marky. 
Your stupid Judeo-Christian reasoning isn't getting you anywhere. Osiris would have saw this in a second. Kalachosara! Well, was it you, Trina? You certainly already are working up a real good criminal track record, according to Counselor Bo Peterson. I hate you all. You're all trash. I didn't do it. Great, Paisley. I guess no one's going to come forward and confess. Well, I hope you all enjoy your summer vacations, knowing that justice hasn't been served. Not so fast, Marky. Due to the reticence of the students in coming forward to confess, I'm doing away with summer vacation as a punishment. Instead, you'll have summer school all summer long, seven days a week, and every morning you'll have to come and report to me in my office for your daily punishment. And you seniors, <laughs> you'll have summer school as well. You'll be right here with me right up until it's time to go off to college. <laughs> What will happen on Mulberry Commons, the school on top of the hill? Mulberry Commons. Somebody say bread cake. Bread cake. What if? What if? Okay, camera. What if? You're walking down the street and you see two signs. One has an arrow pointing to a nearby doorway and says, come to the party. The other sign says, go to the swamp. What do you do? <laughs> That's a real no-brainer, Freda. I'd go to the party. But what if, as you pass through the doorway, you realize it's actually a guillotine and it severs the front part of your body? Go to the swamp. Okay, you're at the swamp and a fairy sprinkles pixie dust on you. Oh, I'd make a wish! But fairy dust wasn't meant for humans, so it acts like corrosive battery acid on your flesh, turning your face into a mass of cracked, charred bone and sizzling clumps of muscle! Well, 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 what if? Pay call, pay call, pay that they will call. Bring. Bring. Oh God, should I answer it? Oh my God. Bring. Look, I've called the police. They're tracing this call. Stop calling me! La 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 la. Chance meetings. Chance meetings. Chance meetings. Chance meetings. Norlando, it's been two years since you've been gone. Lisa and I are well in LA. Can you believe? Doing a show at the Hudson Theater called Donkey Time, and I'm funny. Miss you, Mark. Popcorn. Rigoberto. We did it. We killed that monster of a mother who was preventing our happiness. You killed her? For you. Mija. I do know a few movements.
Now we can go to Spain together and raise our child in your luxurious Madrid townhouse. See, si. it will be nice. What's she doing here? Poquito will be accompanying us. Why? We'll need a cleaning woman. Someone to take care of little Ernesto. Or Esperanza. I guess I see your point. Should we walk out? Probably. I mean, the sheer beauty of it. So true. Come, Rachel. Go to your room. Get packed for the big trip. We've got a long way ahead of us. Oh, okay. Look, Bobsy, I don't want to fight with you. I just want my old job back. Sweeping up the theater or being assistant manager, either way I'm cleaning up piss, so to speak. I'd rather be making popcorn. Fine, if you want to demote yourself, how can I really refuse? And now it's the end of my shift. Good night, Bobsy. Good night, everybody. Layla, you're getting off? Yeah. I meant to ask you before, do you want to watch H&R Puff and stuff with me? I'd love to. Just say our names and you can say